Florida Jeep Rides. It is Saturday morning, February 9th, and we are heading to Bartow. Today is the first day of the Jeeping with Judd training by the Orlando Jeep Club. We'll be riding and learning the trails so that they will be ready for you on the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th at Clear Springs Ranch. Hope you enjoy the day. Thanks for tuning in and remember, please subscribe. beginning of our first trail ride. We are uh, doing moderate trails. It's really kind of like two long trails and one shorter trail. Trails this year are going to be, uh, a couple of them are going to be two hour trails so you'll get a lot more time out on the trails before you have to go queue up again. We're aired down and I am ready to go. Sorry about the bumpiness. Let me tell you a little bit about Jeep with Judd. It is a uh, Polk County Sheriff's fundraiser. They uh, donate to a lot of different charities that help out different organizations, nonprofits. Uh, people pay money to come out here and ride on these trails and uh, raise money for the events. The Orlando Jeep Club uh, is doing the trail leading and uh, also the tail gunning to get everybody out here. Take a look around. First left right here, this is actually the start of your trail. Go ahead and put it in four low if you haven't already. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Gator Run. What you guys need to do for me that are watching i need for you to let me know whether you like Dad, them are you writing out a script again for this year Long? What was that? are you writing a script for the trail leaders uh, it's this one right here. what i need for you guys to do for me is i need you to let me know whether you like the longer videos 
the shorter videos tell me what you think is the optimum time for a video I know a lot of people they kind of like to see these trails because that way you know what you're getting into uh, out here but I kind of like to tell a story too so you know I'm prone to jumping out for a snake off to our side as you can see is what's the Florida swamp uh, in these areas you can find a lot of cotton mouths uh, diamondbacks on the edges one of the things about Florida species that a lot of people don't know is the indigo snake actually requires up to or more than 250 acres of land. An indigo snake needs water area during certain parts of the year and the rest of the year they tend to go up into drier land. So if you build houses on either one of those areas, you can actually take out the, the indigo population in that area. Aww. completely gone. Original state for Jamboree. 